back to the next video in today's video i will show you how to use uh, biometric or face recognition or uh, fingerprint sensor inside your android device uh, for your godo game uh, so let's get started uh, first things first uh, like i have already explained in detail on how to create a plugin so i won't uh, uh, like show you like i will explain you all these steps one by one I have already done all the steps but I won't uh, show you it in detail if you are curious you can watch my other video on how to create a plugin from scratch I have already have a video on that second thing is uh, so this is my uh, android device so this is a basic uh, gado game like it is not even a game I have just taken two button so for android uh, the face recognition part is little complex like uh, so suppose uh, if you have a device which is uh, not a pixel device uh, and it has face recognition in it so for me i have a samsung device it has a face recognition but uh, using the android api face recognition won't work on a samsung device because samsung implements face recognition by their own apis and they are closed source we can't use it uh, directly but if you have a pixel device i think even for oneplus you can use this google api so what i have done is that in case face recognition is not working even though face recognition is there uh, we, we can uh, prompt the user to enter his pin lock or the screen pin whatever or the password or passcode whatever he has set on his uh, device so i will show you uh, first uh, what i am doing i am first calling the get available biometric so i will call the i will click on this button and here it is telling that secure lock i also have face but uh, it is giving me secure lock because uh, that if check i have added it before face if i have added this face uh, if clause before at the top then it would have given me face okay and, uh, and now if i try to click on authenticate uh, here you can see it has uh, presented me uh, like i won't like i know it is not showing it to you because uh, like the android because of my screen capturing uh, like android os completely blocks it so that others can't see my screen capture but it is definitely there i can promise you that and now i will enter my screen capture and i'll click on continue and here you can see i am uh, giving a true uh, message to the gado side that okay the authentication was successful so yeah that's what we will do uh, in this video so let's get started so first uh, again i am referring to the gado documentation and i have created this helpful step for myself so that i don't have to reach read each and everything and i am uh, using gado 4.2.1 at the time of this recording but in future if you have a other version a higher version it's okay you can use that so first what you will have to do inside android studio you will have to create a basic android project it can be a views empty views project or an empty uh, compose project so i have already created a project over here which you can see i will close this for now next what it tells is create an android library so what you will have to do is just select file new module so here yeah, i can show you just go to your android project so you will have something like this right click file new uh, module select android library give some name i have gi already created this i have given it a name as android library but you can give a better name uh, so i have already created that next uh, you have to add this implementation of 4. Uh, implementation of Godot engine now i am using 4.2.1 but in future if you are using higher version make sure you use that version of uh, this implementation library inside your build.gradle uh, so you can check maven central for that so where you have to add this is you will have to make sure you are inside the android drop down and here you will have to go to this android library and here you can add this uh, godo 4.2.1 stable next i also have added this biometric uh, library from google like from android x because we need uh, this library to access the biometric apis uh, okay that's done uh, next we have to create this godo android class inside our uh, library so what i have done is that i have uh, gone to my library so this is my library and here inside you you can see that i have created this a file called godo android plugin okay and here i will now tell you what i am doing so this is by default which you have to create for godo you have to extend from the godo plugin now here you can give whatever name your plugin wants to be but do remember this name because we need to change it on multiple places next i have given two signals because i have two buttons one is for getting the available biometric list uh, but here i am just sending a string but if you want you can send an array list uh, or as well but you will have to do uh, like 
uh, search the documentation on what uh, all data types are supported and here i have added another call is biometric authenticated or not here previously i was using boolean value but unfortunately it wasn't working for me that's why i decided to, uh, to just keep it a string uh, yeah it was causing i am not sure whether that was a godo bug or a some other android toolchain bug because uh, i think this data type has to be matched with uh, like mapped with uh, the gado data type that's why it might be causing issue now for getting available biometric all you have to do is so first we are getting our package manager then we are checking if the user if the device has feature device lock if yes then send device lock as a signal if it has lock screen then send secure lock if it has fingerprint then send send fingerprint if it has face then just send as face if nothing then no, no biometric found okay and uh, so this so it was for api greater than 29 because only on uh, sdk greater than 29 of android you have this uh, feature face uh, if you are uh, below version then i'm just checking for device lock screen lock secure lock or fingerprint uh, okay so this is the, this was for the first button click and this is for the second button click here we are need to create an handler flushed then we have to import a biometric manager now be careful with the import like there are two types of uh, imports for biometric manager i think i will show you the import as well so this is the android x dot biometric dot biometric manager i think there is another called hardware biometric something don't import that now here is the interesting part so if you see uh, so what type of authentication you want to uh, do so i have added all these three types of authentication so i think biometric weak is for fingerprint biometric strong is for face and biometric device credential is for that uh, pin screen or secure lock screen okay so uh, like i don't want it to take any risks that's why i've added all three of this so but if you want you can uh, go through the document the, like the documentation is a little confusing so if you see it says pin pattern or password but if you check this it says fingerprint iris or face and for strong also it says fingerprint iris or face so it's a little confusing that's why i've added all three of them and okay so once the biometric is success i am calling this login method so that the user can enter the pattern or enter his face whatever he wants to but if there are some any kind of errors i'm just sending those particular errors out like for on the gado set i'm just sending false but in the toast message i'm uh, like writing the exact error message if you want you can send the error message as well back to the gado side similarly this error message so these are bunch of error messages which i have uh, listed down now if you come to login screen first we need an uh, context compat dot get main executor then here you can set title for your gado game like some gado my gado game login and so if you want you can set some subtitle as well and here again i have added this uh, set allowed authenticator i think i should have added uh, the strong credential as well but i think that that's fine uh, if you sorry biometric underscore strong if you want to you can add that as well over here i think that but sometimes what happens is that um, if you have face authentication and if it does not follow the google apis uh, the user will be asked to enter his face but uh, the authentication will fail even if uh, it is a valid face so that's why i've used weekend device credential and here you can see i'm generating a biometric prompt for that it requires an activity as well as an executor and if there are so many errors again i am sending it uh, false as a uh, signal and displaying the error on in a toast if it is uh, if it has successfully authenticated then i am just sending true if it has failed then again i am sending it as false and displaying a toast message and here you have to call biometric prompt out authenticate prompt info so okay so we are done with this so we are done with this next you will have to go to android manifest and add this thing okay so go to android manifest and add this thing also you will have to add this use biometric permission but here you will have to make sure this should be your plugin name and this should be your package name if you have changed your package and this should be your uh, godo android plugin class name okay uh, next you will have to go to project library create folder okay so here you will have to go to the project drop down select your android library create a folder called export scripts template and here you will have to create a file called export underscore plugin dot gd so just copy paste this like i have just copy pasted it from documentation but the, there are two important things 
first is this my biometric plugin so whatever is the name of your plugin change it over here and the second thing is this uh, like uh, this is not specified in the documentation but if you remember we have added this dependency inside our build.gradle and once you create an AAR file uh, if you don't add this uh, it uh, and try to access your app then uh, try to access this API then uh, it shows that the class is not found uh, so you will have to write uh, this thing as well so this is very important okay don't forget this and be careful with the indentation as well uh, next insert plugin.cfg again i have copy pasted this from docs just change it to your biometric plugin you can change description author or whatever you want to as well as the version okay so this is done this is done as well uh, this is done okay now uh, just check your mean hdk and max hdk i think by default it should be 24 and 30 so i will again go to android okay i will go to build.gradle so the mean hdk is 24 and compile hdk and target hdk are mostly the same so it is 34 as well so that should be fine but you will have to set the same mostly the same on your godo game as well next you will have to open your terminal go to your android project and not to your library so you will have to cd and just run this command and it will generate uh, two ar files so if you see uh, it should be present over here like i have already copy pasted it but uh, for you uh, it should be inside go to your android library go to build outputs ar and here you should see two files okay just keep it as it is i will tell you how to copy it next you will have to create a godo project i have already created it next inside that you will have to create a folder called add-ons then your plugin name okay then bin debug and release so here you can see this is my godo game uh, and here uh, I have created a folder called add-ons okay inside that create a folder with your plugin name then inside that uh, create a folder called bin and here you will have to copy paste these two files which we have created on the android project so on the android library so if you remember if we go to project we had created these two files okay just copy paste this inside your plugin folder then inside plugin also create a bin folder then create two folders called debug and release now here you will uh, inside the, your android library you will get two files right debug and release so copy the debug file over here and change the name to whatever whatever your plugin name is followed by dash debug.ar similarly for release so whatever file release is over here copy it to your godo game folder release folder and change it to your plugin name uh, so this is done so we have done this we have done this okay now inside your godo game what you can do is go to project install the android build template if you're installing it for first time you will uh, see something like download and install but i have already installed it so that's why i'm saying this next you will have to go to export uh, here click add add android i have already added it for, uh, select this use gradle build okay and here you will have to select the architecture of your android device if you don't know your architecture then select all four of this okay uh, next here you will see something like fix import just click on that fix import and it will add some export presets.cfg file for you uh, okay let's see what else so go, huh, also this is important go to project project settings go to plugins and make sure you check this plugin uh, name plugin check checkbox i mean uh, okay we'll see this code in a bit we have done this we have done this we have done this we have done this okay next also go to editor editor settings and here you just search for android just search for android over here and here you will have to add your android uh, hdk path as well as debug key store now where your debug key path is it is mostly at this path on mac i'm not sure about windows sorry about that or uh, not also sure about linux but it but if you do a quick google search you should be able to find it uh, now for your creating your game all i have done is taken a vbox container i have taken two button and i have taken a label i have uh, like applied the on pressed for these two button as well as this on ready uh, label uh, okay and here i have created uh, my plugin so write whatever your plugin name is 
inside on ready we are initializing our plugin and i have also connected the two signals which we have uh, inside your android library and on one first button press we are calling the get available biometric method on second button press we are calling the authenticate method and once we get a plugin callback we are just setting it to our label so yeah i think that should be it thank you for watching bye